everyone. Today I'm going to be reacting to Miley Cyrus's brand new single called Flowers. If you want to skip right to my reaction, I will have a time on the screen right here to where you guys can go to. And now I'll do a couple of disclaimers. This is just my personal opinion and interpretation of the song. I'd love to hear yours down below to keep it respectful, please. Sorry for any background noise or dust particles that may occur throughout this video. I'm going to be stopping and giving my thoughts as I go along. I'm also going to have to cut out a lot of the song due to copyrights. Lastly, if I have anything else I ever get to add, check down below. I might have a pinned comment. And let's get into it. We were good, we were cold, we were right Until we weren't home and watched it burn Okay, so my thoughts on the song, that was truly excellent and I'm so glad that I finally got to hear it. You know, some snippets were put out on social media and I pretty much always avoid them if I know that I'm going to react to it just because I want to be as surprised as possible. Like I don't want to, you know, know what I'm going into because it's more enjoyable for me that way personally. I heard like one small second of it on TikTok by accident, but obviously I didn't hear the full snippet. But yeah, this definitely sounds different than I expected it to and I love it so, so much. And I really like the lyrics, you know, she's talking about we bought a house together burned down i'm guessing she's referencing whenever she was married to liam because i'm pretty sure she said that their house burned down and she lost everything she's kind of talking about that in one of the interviews that she did for her last album classic cards i believe so i thought that that was kind of cool and she's just saying you know i don't need somebody to do all these nice things for me and whatever like i can do that for myself i can love myself and you know this is a sentiment we've heard time and time again but the thing is is it's still something that is relatable it's something that's enjoyable to listen to and i really love what she did with the song overall and so yeah it sounded different than how I expected it was going to, but I really, really love this. And it was kind of giving me a Dua Lipa vibes. You know, maybe something off of future nostalgia. And so I think that's kind of what I was thinking whenever I was listening to it. You know, maybe it's reminding me of something else, but that was what I was thinking. And yeah, I know they collaborated before on, you know, Prisoner off Plastic Hearts. But yeah, this was very cool. And I wanted to see who produced this because the production was really interesting. It was actually Kid Harpoon and Tyler Johnson. And I know them because they worked with Harry Styles. And now she's on the Columbia label, which is the same label that Harry's on as well. I really hope that they do a collaboration. Like I said for the 87th time. I don't understand why Miley and Harry haven't collaborated yet, but that's beside the point. And I'm just very excited to hear this album and just see what we're getting from it. Titles Endless Summer Vacation. I want it to live up to the title. And I like this sound. I wouldn't mind if she doubles down on rock, if she goes pop, if she goes country, or you know, like elements of country for sure. Not a full country album because she's already done that basically. But yeah, the single was kind of it. I definitely think so far this is the best song of 2023. And we will see if anything comes to topping it. But I really enjoyed it. I thought that the music video was very fun. I thought that she looked great. I really like the visual for it as well. Overall, I think that this is a strong single. I forgot to talk about her vocals. She sounds great, of course. Like I always say, I feel like she's an underrated vocalist, very versatile, and so I really enjoyed the vocals on the song. I really like the lyrics, like I was kind of talking about earlier. I thought that the production was flawless, and yeah, this was definitely something that I was very excited to hear, and it did not disappoint, which is very important to me, so very excited to hear the album overall. Highly recommend listening to this thing if you haven't already. I will definitely do an album reaction whenever it comes out, so subscribe if you guys don't want to miss that. I have done one video on Miley before on Plastic the cards i think i want to redo that and do a revisit with me maybe sometime this year or next year we will see and so i will have them the cards right here if you want to see it at the end of this video link down below in the description but that is going to be it for my thoughts on miley cyrus's new song flowers please let me know what you guys are thinking down below in the comments your interpretations all that i want to see how you guys feel about this track but that is going to be it for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it give it a like down below it helps me out aligning the algorithm i very much appreciate it you guys can subscribe if you want to see more videos like this give it the bell you get notifications your phone when i post you know i miss some brand new videos come out first link down below in the description will be my second channel so subscribe if you'd like to see more of me on there also going to have my twitter my instagram my spotify my tiktok if you guys want to follow me on there a link to stream the song if you're interested and lastly let's educate you guys on important situations thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one